Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name's Angus. I know it's been a little bit of time since I've posted anything on this channel, but it's 2021. It's a new year. We're getting into it. I know it's March. It's a little bit of a late start, but still better than nothing. It's taking me a little bit of time to actually figure out what I wanted to do with this channel, but I think I really have a good idea and I'm just going to commit to it. I'm just going to post like the travel edits and cool like fun edits that i want to make and post them on this channel and i also want to do some tutorials and breakdowns of my editing style or things that i use in my videos that i've learned from other people and so that's what we're going to be doing today i'm going to be showing you guys how to do this cool super 8 film effect i kind of drew inspiration from a few different sources but i'll just show you a clip right here of what the final product will look like Okay, so it's super cool. It's really good for making these old vintage looking videos, which is a really popular style right now. Everyone wants to have that film emulation look. But anyway, if you like the look of the Super 8 that I just showed you, that's what we're gonna be breaking down today. It's gonna be done all in Premiere Pro all with uh, the built-in plugins and stuff. And there are a couple of downloadable assets that you could use for your own thing, but it's really up to you on how you make this film look. I'm just gonna be showing you the basics and then it's up to you to do your own flair and stuff like that afterwards. So let's just jump right into Premiere Pro. I'll show you guys how to do that and then I'll show you the finished product afterwards when we're done. With your footage imported into Premiere Pro, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is look in the effects tab and you're gonna wanna look for the effect called crop. This effect is really good for you know adding black bars on the top and bottom of your screen to make it look more filmic so yeah you're gonna put the crop effect on this footage to make it more of a four by three aspect ratio which is more of a vertical aspect ratio to do this all you're gonna want to have to do is come into the left and right parameters of this effect and change the percent from zero to about 12 percent cropping off uh the ends of each side of the video so it's not a 16 by 9 wide video it's more of a cropped video and by doing this already you're off to a really great start and making your video look a lot more uh, vintage because obviously vintage cameras and stuff like that were not in 16 by 9 um, you know wide aspect ratios for like big flat screen TVs they were more vertical like this so this is a great start for you already one more thing that you can do to enhance this effect and so that's not such a harsh sharp line is to add some feathering in on either side of these crops so there should be an option to increase the edge feather or the crop feather and that'll make the edges kind of soft and kind of distort them a little bit so that will help to make it look a little bit more like a vintage film I guess if you wanted to try to do this on the top and bottom as well you could try to slightly crop the top and bottom parameters i haven't tried that but feel free to mess around with that yourself and give it a shot because this is all about being creative anyway you're only emulating a film you look you're not actually shooting on film so have fun with it all right so moving on to step number two in creating this look is you're gonna have to color your footage now me personally i color corrected all my footage before doing this vintage effect so everything was kind of normal looking color wise and i I think I also put a LUT on here as well. And I just left it on afterwards when I did the film look and tweaked some things here and there, but you don't have to do that. But typically what I've seen is that old films like this kind of have like a, a tint to them. They usually have like a greenish or a bluish tint, or maybe you could go more like um, magenta tint if that's your personal taste. I personally like a look of like a green blue tint. And so what I went in and did for this just to kind of help achieve that look a little bit more aside from doing the color grading and all that stuff was I went into the, the color wheels and the color match section of the Lumetri color panel and I just kind of adjusted the highlights, midtones, and the shadows. But like I said, personal preference, mess around with the colors however you want. You don't even have to touch the colors if you don't want to. It really, like I found that not adjusting the colors at all, you know, if you shoot in like a flat profile, you could leave it like that, although it might look pretty uh, gray. So I would suggest maybe doing a little bit of color correction, but maybe not too much because it, again, you want it to look old and like dated. Okay, so for step number three, this is uh, an optional step. You don't have to do this. This is something that I've recently seen a lot of people adding into their Super 8 or just film effect lately. And that's to add in this little film strip like box. It's like this little rectangular box that kind of looks like it's glowing a little bit and it either cuts off part of the video or it's there. If you look at my video, I have it flickering on and off as if like the film tape is like rolling as it's recording. And it's basically all it is is just 
a rectangle. Um, really, that's all it is. So for this step, it's really easy. You can either try to go on Google and find an asset like this. The way I did this was in Photoshop. I just came in, I created a 2K by 2K square on a black background. And then all I did was use the rectangular tool or I think the rounded rectangular tool. And I made this basically rounded looking rectangle and I used a stroke to fill the edges. I didn't use a fill. And then to add a little bit to this effect, I came into the blending options for this rectangle shape and I just added an inner and an outer glow to make it look like it was kind of lighting up because that's kind of how it would look like, I feel like on a film strip because there is light coming in so it would be kind of reflective. So yeah, I just added that and basically exported it as a JPEG image. Then from there, I imported it into Premiere Pro and put it as an overlay over all of these clips that I wanted to have the Super 8 film look on. And obviously when you put it in here with the black background, if it's not transparent, it's just gonna be a red rectangle with a black background. So you're gonna have to come into the settings or the effect settings for this and set the opacity settings to screen. So that way it'll remove the black background, kind of make the red thing just look like more glowy and a little bit more transparent. And then just readjust the scale and positioning until it's in a position that you want. The last couple things I would say is to add a film grain and maybe some film textures. Um, again, these are some things that you can find on Google. Download them if you have a subscription to a stock footage website. They're all over the place for these. But basically, I just took a grain overlay and then I set the adjustments of the opacity as an overlay and then adjusted the opacity level so it wasn't super, super grainy, but added like a texture to this film to make it feel more uh, physical, tangible, like you would normally see for a like a real film camera. And then I took another step and added in some film scratches and dust and stuff like that. So it looked like it was kind of breaking up like you'd be watching it on TV. It's kind of a combination of like Super 8 film and like an old VHS thing because the other v overlay that I used was titled the VHS overlay. Yeah, and uh, from there, the only other thing I would suggest to do is to add in some sound effects. Um, for me, I found I use Epidemic Sound and that's where I get all my music and sound effects and they have a great selection of all these things. So I just searched up a Super 8 or just like a 35 millimeter, I don't know what it's called. It's this sound right here. And then I just took that sound effect, threw it in the video to make it feel like you're watching an actual projector changed the levels a little bit so it wasn't like super loud over the music and stuff like that. And boom, there you have it, a Super 8 film slash VHS, I guess, uh, film effect. So at this point at this video, I'm just gonna play the rest of that video that I showed you at the beginning of the clip just so you guys can watch it. And um, I'd love to know what your thoughts are on it. Do you think the Super 8 film effect worked good for it? Do you, do you not? Do you like the way I did this? Or would you do it differently? Leave some suggestions or opinions and stuff like that in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I really wanna start making this YouTube channel a lot more interactive, especially for my subscribers. I've been taking a look at my analytics and Surprisingly, most of my videos are being watched by people who aren't even my subscribers. So I'm trying to, you know, kind of bring that back in and, you know, interact with you guys more. I try to respond to the comments as much as possible. So yeah, so leave some comments down below. I'll get to them when I can. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for new content to come. I have some more tutorials and cool edits that I'm going to be putting out soon. So definitely stick around for that. And until next time, guys, I will see you then. All right. Peace out. That's why.
what I've been here for all along I have no doubt, I know you really want to stay Till the fires burn out, days like this will so Stay the same